sorry for the break there in the video unbeknownst to me I didn't realize that once you completely remove the cache it makes well, they are main drive directories that it was working with unavailable temporarily while it moves data from the cached volume back onto the drive. Not to worry, we're back into it. There's our tent, there's our files, there's our 32 gig of files, and what we're going to do is we're going to conduct everything single thing that we did before, but this time without the aid of the SSD cache. So let's get it all lined up. There's the virtual machine manager again. Let's get that bad boy open. And we're not going to run the virtual machine yet. We're going to try to do things exactly as we did it before. So as you can see, the virtual machine is off. There's our files. No transferring. They're not in those directories. Completely empty, as discussed before. And as you can see, SSD cache is not available. All we have is our volume. So let's get moving on this, shall we? We'll leave that there just to prove to you there's no SSD cache. And let's get started. So first things first, we're going to copy our files and start playing merry hell covering our files all up in this biznet right let's go next paste in there we're going to power on rvm and finally we're going to get the resource monitor open get that open there so obviously the machine is going to have the tiniest bit of a freak out that we're doing all this at the same uh, simultaneously we'll hide that We'll hide that and we're going to let our test run here in the background so once again we are doing exactly the same test as last time and we are getting the same initial spike at the beginning until the, the system starts really struggling with the fact we've got all of these files running in simultaneously move that VM here so we can just see it's going there in case you're wondering this VM already we're seeing a larger increase in CPU consumption with that VM but it will dip because obviously the VM is booting up for the first time. In case you're wondering, it was a Windows 10 VM. Um, I would open it, but I don't want to do anything that could jeopardize this test more than I already have done. And what we're going to do, we're just going to leave this, and I'm going to fast forward the video, and then we're going to compare the times, um, and we'll see how they compare. And we're drawing to a close. We're finally seeing these files be finished. We've got one pile and it's starting to look like we're almost done here. And we're done. So all those files were sent over. And again, this is without cache. And you've probably got the clock there on the screen. The next test I'm going to perform is, I don't know if any of the more astute of you noticed, but on this device in the storage manager, we've been working with the SSD and now we're going to move over to a hard drive so the next test is going to be the hard drive 4tb wd red and this file and we're going to do exactly the same test without ssd caching but this time just on a hard drive no ssd and all internal speeds 